ready for the beach? Tonight, Lynn shares the latest fitness trends and advice to help you get in shape for summer. Right now on It's Your Call. Fitness, I think it's important. You've got one body. Take advantage of it. Uh, fitness isn't just about like going lifting weights and running and you know doing all that. It's also just staying af active. Fitness to me is working out hard, being dedicated, and eating right. Fitness is health. It's keeping your body young. You don't have to get old. There's no such thing as old. You just get better. And you do it by keeping fit every single day. That's what they had to say about feeling fit. Now, it's your call. CN8's Emmy Award winning It's Your Call with Lynn Doyle starts now. Good evening, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Lynn Doyle. Tonight, our focus is fitness. We're sharing with you highlights from this year's Philly Fit Bash in hopes of inspiring everyone to achieve better health. We'll showcase some of the latest trends in health and fitness, from sports-oriented training to salsa-inspired workouts. We'll also tell you how getting fit can help fund cancer research. Plus, we've got some great advice to get you motivated and get you moving so you can look your best at the beach. But right off the top, we want to know what you think. How important is fitness to you when it comes to looking good and feeling good? Are you ready to bear it all on the beach? Or perhaps you're not quite bikini bound just yet. And what is it that motivates you to get fit and stay fit all summer long? If you want to email your comments or suggestions to us here at CN8.TV, we'd love to hear from you. Now, on to this year's Philly Fit Bash. This gathering of more than 80 health experts, vendors, and services was a virtual smorgasbord of fitness and fun with more than 2,500 people in attendance. One of them was our It's Your Call correspondent, Kyle Schmoyer, and he gives us a glimpse into some of the day's events. Well, yes, there's absolutely something for everyone here at the Fit Bash. Right now, I'm inside the de-stressing tent having a little massage on my back. Feels good. Now, let's take a tour around to see what else we found at the bash. The whole point of the bash is we've got so many things in the local area, it's so hard to find. So the bash is putting it all in person. As you know, we've got Philly Fit Magazine. Everything, you can read about it, you can see it, there's addresses. We thought, why not put it in person, come out and see us, touch it, feel it. I think it takes several times of thinking about fitness before you actually act on it. So we say just go find something to do, anything health and fitness, it's a good start. So let's start with the little ones who often can use a jump start when it comes to fitness. Well, you know, obesity is on the rise. You know, you go into the preschools and it, it seems like the majority of them are overweight. We want to get in there and stop it early and give them the reason to why they want to exercise and make it fun. So we basically focus on trying to get the kids moving, get their heart rates up, and teach them how to be physically fit and uh, healthy lifestyles. I make rock and roll fitness for kids and for families. And it's all about the fun. It's all about the fact that when you hear wonderful music and you want to share it with your family, you want to get up and move to the music. We're trying to fight a national epidemic here of obesity in our country. And it's not enough to just be a couch potato. You've got to get up there and move. And we want to make it so much fun that people forget that it's really exercise. It's all about being fit. It's all about you know not having that perfect skinny body, but being fit inside and out and sharing that joy of moving and kinesthetically you know, stretching your body around in order to uh, stay fit. You need to be playing to have fun, to learn, and it's natural for people to, for children and people to be curious and and to want to learn. So as long as you take all the pressure out of learning and keep it fun as it naturally is, then it's successful. For the slightly more mature crowd, how about an exercise to strengthen their dating skills? People that are fit would like to date people that are fit. We're going to try uh, Mini Date Express, which is a scaled down version of our regular mini date. Um, people just talk to each other for about six minutes. We ring a bell, the guys go to the next table. We have these little sheets that you write down um, who you'd like, you know, if you want to see the person again as a friend, find them interesting. Um, if you want to take them out for a drink, take them to dinner, whatever. It's all about 
uh, writing your things down on the card, and then just passing it to the person. So if people are coming to the Philly Fit Bash, chances are they're into fitness. And if they're into fitness and they're coming to do the Mini Date Express, they'll be meeting people that are also into, you know, the same type of thing. Humans, not the only ones making connections here. Fido and his friends got into the fitness fun, too. Pet fitness is important because if you feed your dog right from the beginning, it will continue to be healthy all its life. It needs exercise, it will be a part of your family. These dogs that we've brought up, most of them are coming from shelters that are in trouble, don't get a good start. And when they come up here to us, the most important thing that we can teach someone is how to take care of their dog correctly so that they can have a long, happy life. Hi, this is Marty, and I, my name is Dr. Leah Garland, and Marty is a foster dog, and I'm going to do a chiropractic adjustment on him today. I'm doing chiropractic adjustments to help um, restore mobility into the dog's spine. It helps with arthritis. It helps with mobility. And then when we do the cold laser, we're going to promote uh, speeding up the healing of his spine. And it's a really great way to keep them um, feeling better and functioning at a higher level. And of course, de-stressing isn't just for the dogs. It's an important aspect of feeling fit for everyone. Yes, even me. Well, that was just a little taste of all the fitness and health type things we saw here at the Bash. As for me, I'm going to continue to de-stress and say bye-bye from the Bash. See ya. Hmm, it looks like Kyle needs to recharge himself just a bit. Thankfully, It's Your Call's favorite health guru, Dr. Rob Danoff, was on hand at the bash with some great advice on the right foods for refueling the body. Well, Dr. Rob Danoff, I see you taking a look at the sport car here. Well, I'm looking at him going, man, what kind of fuel do they use in there? But it kind of reminds me, you know, if they put bad fuel in there, it won't run. So if we put bad fuel in our bodies, we won't do so well. So food is fuel for fitness and health. And today, we're going to show people what to eat that's healthy and will feel better. It's out there. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. We got some good fuels here, Dr. Rob. You know what? These are the colors of health. Look at this. We got great vegetables and fruit and protein. This is wonderful. We got Chef James from Good to Go on the grill there. We have some fish going on. And doctor, tell us how if, if you eat something like this, it gives you energy. Do you know what? If we eat good fuel, we will feel better. We'll have more energy. We'll have more ability to concentrate. And we'll just feel better, sleep better. We'll be healthier. Absolutely. And this is a good looking meal. You know what? It not only looks good, but this tastes awesome. And here's the thing. These are good fuel. So instead of eating all the junk, give me two weeks of eating good stuff and we won't want the bad anymore. Excellent. All right. Of course, Dr. Rob, we got to wash down that fish now. We're going to do it with a couple smoothies. You know what? Thanks, good. ladies. You know what? I'm loving this because you know what? There is healthy uh, yogurt in here, probiotics, there's protein, two servings of fruit. This is awesome. Much better than soda. Much better than soda. And you know what? This is healthy. I'm feeling energized. I'm feeling good too. Let's do some activity. Rock and roll. All right. <laughs> well, I'm certainly glad to see that Kyle was able to get an energy boost. And now that he's back up and running, he gives us the scoop on the venue that played host to this year's Philly Fit Bash. Well, when this huge facility known as Velocity isn't hosting a big event like the Philly Fit Bash, it plays home to many athletes, especially young athletes who want to step up their game. Take a look. Well, here uh, we have the training floor part of the facility. The entire facility is roughly 17,000 square feet. It's an area designed to accommodate Velocity's formula for fitness. We work on three different types of speed here at Velocity. Uh, the overall training is called sports performance training. We teach athletes proper and efficient mechanics to improve speed, power, agility, balance, core strength. But a normal core training class, 90 minutes long, the athletes come in, they do a dynamic warm up. Everything that we do here is based on dynamic movement. A lot of the athletes that come in here, these are young people. They don't really necessarily know how it is to use their body totally and efficiently. That's what our staff teaches here, as well as just the overall general fitness. And how it is is that when athletes come in here and train uh, with our staff, they're always with a coach. Velocity's training program is designed to help any athlete enhance his or her game. We're here for the person that's heading off to college. We're here for the person that really wants to have a, a great final varsity season in high school. We're here for the athlete that just wants to get on the team. I'm going to play Division One basketball in college, so to basically get better to take it to the next level. This is going to help me a lot. <laughs> 
Um, I needed to increase my speed for field hockey. I'm playing at Eastern University D3, so field hockey. So this year I did okay on our field hockey team, but I wanted to get faster. With what we're doing, much like on the speed uh, portion of our training, with the uh, weight training here, we're teaching the athletes. We're teaching them how to lift weights correctly and, and effectively. Uh, a lot of young people uh, that are involved in sports today, they understand that they need to do strength training, which is great. But the most important part about strength training is how to do it correctly. I play football, wrestle, and run track. So, I mean, I'm applying strength training, get bigger for football, the running, out with the agility workouts, certainly gonna make you faster for track and uh, all around just better athlete. And according to Matt, the additional training definitely pays off on game day. What we find from the parents, okay, and the athletes themselves who, who trained here is that the real results are out on the field, okay? We can get these numbers and we're gonna show fantastic results, which we have been doing, but the real results are gonna be out on the field, you know, how it's carried over into competition. And, and we really want them to get that overall experience to, to take along with them to the next level, whatever that level is gonna be. And we here at It's Your Call are certainly ready and willing to help you take your fitness goals to the next level. If you'd like to find out more about the food, fun, and fitness that we're spotlighting from this year's Philly Fit Fit Bash, simply log on to cn8.tv for details and information on anything and everything that you see here tonight. Now, regardless of how you choose to get in shape or to stay in shape, there are always new fitness toys or gizmos that can add to your routine to spice up the daily regimen. We head back to the bash where Kyle once again shows us the latest in these trends. We decided to go in search of the latest at-home fitness gadget. We found the stick. The stick is a massage product and it works off the trigger point theory. You roll over the trigger points, or as people also know as knots, through the body. And you're rolling those out. You can do it pre, either race or training, exercise, cycling, whatever you're doing, and post. Post to break down lactic acid build up so your recovery time is a lot faster. Everybody experiences something different. So some people feel like a little tingling, some people feel warm. How does the stick feel? Feels really good. Any difference? What do you, what do you feel? Uh, it just feels good. Like I'm like, I'm sorry. Really How's the stick feeling? Not bad, not bad. Had a cramp all day yesterday, so it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> We're just working on hamstring, hamstrings right here. Okay. Yep. And you're feeling the difference? Yeah, definitely. The, all the different sticks, there's different flexibilities and then the lengths. So depending on how how big or how small you are, you can get deeper in, in, in the muscle. So the more the stiffer the stick, the deeper it gets in the muscle mass. And this is for all around the body, anyway. You got it. So I just had to do it. I had to try it out for myself, and I must say, the experience nearly mesmerized me. Try the stick. Try the stick. Try the stick. For It's Your Call, I'm Kyle Schmoll. Okay. <laughs> I've got the stick. I think I'm going to have to think about it for a little bit. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Kyle. Well, if you're still not ready to get up and go, we've got some great ideas and advice to motivate even the best of the fitness procrastinators in the bunch. Music, marathons, and more, all on the other side of the break. Stay with us. Lynn Doyle's jewelry provided by David Craig Diamonds and Fine Jewelry, Newtown, Pennsylvania. Welcome back, everyone, to this special edition of It's Your Call. I'm Lynn Doyle. We're hoping to inspire you to get fit and to feel fit all summer long. And since we're talking about motivation, personal trainers are often great motivators that can help us to get moving. Philly Fit Magazine's own Jamie Appenzeller introduces us to Sergeant Nate, a man who can no doubt whip your fitness attitude as well as your body into shape. I have, a, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Your workouts, are they usually too intense for a beginner or somebody who hasn't worked out in a long time? Uh, can anybody usually come join a group class and the instructor can work with all different levels all at the same time? All at the same time because I modify once I find out what their particular situations are yeah. and I make it unique for them so they still can get to work out at their intensity, yeah. still feel part of the group, and that the advanced students don't feel like they're being held back yeah. 
yeah. because I'm bringing someone new in for the first time to kind of work out. Right, that's what I thought. It almost seems like that's where fitness seems to be going these days. People, the trainers know to work with all the different levels all at one time. Exactly. The challenge is trying to make a smooth transition yeah. so it doesn't seem like you're accommodating one. Like everyone is working out equally as hard and equally as challenging. What do you say to somebody that says, I just can't do it? Um, I can't read it because my back is turned, but what does the shirt say? <laughs> Don't make excuses. Make it happen. That's my answer. I'm a former Army medic, so I spent 17 years in the Army and also 14 years in healthcare. So working with patients and working in the military kind of brought in my love and interest for health and fitness. Here. What does it say? Don't make excuses. Make it happen. That's what we're going to do. Ready. My cadre sergeant in the NCO Academy used to give us an assignment and then tell us, go make it happen. So that became my catchphrase. Don't make excuses. Make it happen. Bringing that same concept to the training. You don't have what it takes? Where do you think you're at? In one of those competitive gyms? Move. I've been coming to boot camp for about three years now. And it's just all about health and fitness and just being the best that I can be. Nate's motto is make no excuses, make it happen. And I mean, that's basically just what he lives. We come in here and if you can't do a push up, you got to keep trying until you can do a push up. And then you have to do 10, and then you have to do 20. So it's definitely, I mean, a workout. And he's not babying us here. We're here to work, and we definitely see the difference. It's kind of like a boot camp class. And I call it Rangers training because I took the training level to a little higher plane of sorts. So it's like a collage of different things that we do in the class. There'll be some military conditioning, there'll be some partner workouts, and a little stress management with some Tai Chi flow, because I also do that. Um, I like to keep things interesting. Red word! Oh! Are you ready? Uh, I've been here for over five years, and I just love it. It's uh, gotten me into shape. I've lost 15 pounds in the last four or five months. And uh, I love Nate, and I love, just love the class. It's a lot of fun. You never know what's coming. Skydiver, are you ready? He likes to give everyone an individual name, which is great. My name is Skydiver, because I tried to get him to go skydive with me once. So he's called me Skydiver for two years. Um, and he just, he knows everyone's name, and he works out with everyone, and, and he actually calls you and emails you, and you know, are you eating what you're supposed to be eating? It's an all-around train. It's really, it's really, really good. Working the hip. You brought him in here. That's it. People want a trainer who is more into their more specific needs, uh, bringing more a uniqueness in the style of training, not just a rep counter, but someone who's aware and attentive to their physical well-being, their background, and their history and health, and just to make it a little bit more well-rounded so they're not just looking good, but really feeling good physically, mentally, spiritually, all the way around. Outstanding. Outstanding. Way to motivate Sergeant Nate. But if the sergeant's boot camp style mantra is not your motivating factor, perhaps music will get you moving. With popular shows like Dancing with the Stars leading the way, more and more Americans are finding alternative workouts in order to get their fitness groove on. From the foxtrot to hip hop and everything in between. Check out the latest trend in the aerobic dance craze. It's called Latino Rhythm. The class is composed of um, different Latin dances. Um, we have salsa, merengue, bachata, and cha-cha. I wanted to create a, a program that would be different than anybody else's offering in the area, but true to the Latin dance. So we do a lot of body movements, a lot of shoulder rolls and hip rolls, a lot of booty shaking going on. <laughs> I think people really enjoy that. Um, it's like a fusion of aerobics and uh, Latin music, and uh, you get a great workout, and it's so much fun, especially if you don't like to work out like I do. <laughs> this is an easy way to, to exercise. It's, it's like uh, you hear the Rocky theme and you want to run. You hear this, and it's easy to move, you know? If they're looking for something different, this is definitely where they want to um, come and try it out. And it's actually, it's really interesting for, for the beginner um, fitness person, or if you're actually a fitness fanatic, you're going to get a great workout regardless. And it's actually really good for the salsa student. So it's offered to everybody, and everybody benefits from it. I love the dance. I love a good workout. And this kind of combines both of them. And it's, it's pleasurable. It, um, it has a sex appeal to it, too. Everyone wants to feel sexy. It's sexy. It's a good workout. It burns calories and still lets you break a sweat. So it's enjoyable, really enjoyable. It's a great cardiovascular workout. Um, you know, you run, you jump, you sweat when you leave. And uh, when, you, when you leave, you feel really invigorated. Um, it's fun. It's beginner-friendly. It's low-impact but high-intensity, so you're definitely getting a workout. 
Um, and it's just different. I, you know, nobody in the area is offering something like this, so I think that's, it's just fun. Kind of makes you want a mom, though, doesn't it? I would like to give a very special shout out to It's Your Call Zone, Chrissy Stanichev. She was the girl groove in there that you just saw. She gave this class a go for the very first time, and it looks like it was well worth the workout. Thanks a lot, Chrissy. We really appreciate it. Now, if you're not feeling the rhythm, perhaps running a marathon or training for a triathlon is more your speed. If so, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society is looking for you. We check back in at the bash where Kyle Schmoyer is standing by, and he's telling us how getting fit can actually help to fund a cure for cancer. Well, Lynn, I'd like you to meet Steve Brown. Once named Iron Man, now anointed Remission Man, because he refused to allow cancer to hold him back from his passion, competition. And now, he even trains others. I had always been an extremely active kid growing up, involved in several sports all through high school, junior high, and even in college was the soccer player. Um, and then post-college got heavily into running and endurance sports and cycling, triathlons. And then it wasn't until February of 2006 that I, I myself was diagnosed with chronic lymphocytic leukemia, which is what drew me to team and training. Hi guys, how's it going? Steve now coaches athletes to compete in marathons and triathlons in order to raise funds and awareness about the disease. All right, let's go guys, finish strong, one more mile. I love getting involved with this kind of thing. I always have loved it, and then when it became personal, and when I now am, I have the opportunity to work with these very eager and, and you know newbie triathletes to who want to get involved, I have the platform to be able to just have fun with them and, and give them all the knowledge they need, knowing that they're raising funds and awareness, awareness for my blood cancer, which, I mean, that's a formula that just doesn't get any better. And we get a lot of people with personal connections that have either lost somebody to a blood cancer or know of a survivor of a blood cancer, and sometimes they're just there saying, I'm ready to do something. My grandmother is a, was, um, well, died from lymphoma leukemia. So I just felt in her memory it would be um, a good, you know, thing to support. I used to be a competitive swimmer back in high school, and I've always wanted to do a triathlon. So I thought, what better way to join a team for camaraderie and do something for a good cause? Actually, I had a friend who got me in. Um, she, I sponsored her when she was doing a triathlon, and then all of the stuff kept coming in the mail, and I always went, yeah, I'm going to sign up for that one day, and then I was in the grocery store, the sign-up was there, and I was like, this is it. <laughs> Many of these athletes have already completed an event and are back to train for even more. My sister-in-law's family um, was really involved in the Leukemia, Leukemia Lymphoma Society, and I felt like this was a great way for me to both contribute to fundraising as well as stay in shape slash get in shape, and um, it's really been a rewarding experience. It's good when you cross the finish line, you're like, all those months of training, I did it, and I raised money doing it for a good cause. Not just, hey, I'm out there for myself, you're out there for a lot of other people. It's such a rewarding experience. The, the people that you meet through the program, knowing that you're not only getting yourself in incredible shape, you're, you're meeting great people, and you're, ra you're raising an incredible amount of money, funds awareness for a great cause. <laughs> Wow, fitness, fun, and funding a cure. Three great ideas all rolled into one. Now, if you're motivated to take on a marathon or move to the Mambo, or perhaps you'd just like to find out a little more information about some of the fun fitness ideas that we're sharing with you tonight, log on to CN8.TV. There you'll get all the information you need to get up, get moving, and get started on the road to better health. That's it for this special Sunday edition of It's Your Call. We hope that we have inspired you in some way. We, in fact, ask you to join us each and every night when we try to inspire conversation, when we talk about the issues making headlines and sparking debate. Speaking of sparking debate, Larry Kane is coming up next, so stay tuned for Voice of Reason. Until then, my thanks to my crew and to you for watching. Have good health and have a great night.